What is going on everyone? This is Amgad back to you with another video and Google's event for the new Pixels and the new Pixel Watch was just announced yesterday and it was pretty interesting. We get uh, some amazing updates on the Pixel 8 and updates that are actually noticeable and useful. Obviously the major upgrade was in the cameras of the Pixel 8 Pro. Now we get the telephoto lens, we get an, uh, a new uh, sensor for the rear cameras that shoots amazing videos and amazing pictures. Obviously reviewers need to you know, test that and see if it actually delivers on the claims that Google says. But the real deal here is the Pixel 8 and that's the phone that I wanna focus on. So let's see what you get with the Pixel 8. You get the new processor, the G3, which is the Google's version, Google's SoC basically, instead of buying their chips from Qualcomm. You get a 120 Hertz high refresh rate display. Remember that phone costs $700. Do you know any other phones that start with $700 or even more than that, that are still 60 Hertz? Let me know in the comments section below. You also get, yeah, the display is not LTPO, so it doesn't go uh, to one Hertz. The lowest it could go when it comes to refreshing is 60, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's 120 Hertz, it's good. And it's very noticeable and people are gonna be super happy about it. And the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro share the same main sensor, which is super cool. So the main sensor would produce amazing pictures. We know that Pixels get pretty much the best photos of any other smartphone. And now the display in the Pixel 8 goes over 2000 nits, which is extremely bright by the way, and it's it looks amazing. It's, a, it's legitimately a major upgrade than the Pixel 7 that we had last year. And in the event, Google kept uh, talking about how uh, optimization and AI in general that they made in the software. And to be honest, Google Pixels are pretty specialized when it comes to their software. Uh, as Marcus Brownlee said, he, it's the smartest smartphone when it comes to the rest of the competition. It, it really, like Google Assistant on its own is just the smartest, the best assistant you could ever get, better than Siri, better than Alexa, you name it. And Google showed off the same features that they had in the, their last year's phone, which is that if you take a picture, you can erase someone, or now you can uh, change the facial expressions of a person uh, after you take the photo using AI and everything. It looks fake, even from their own examples, which should be perfect, it still looks fake. So if you take a picture, a frame, a picture of a person, that, and that person is not smiling, let's say they have a straight face like this, right? And then you're gonna make them smile with the editing and AI tools and everything. It just, it doesn't look right. And photos are not photos anymore. And when it comes to pricing, uh, the Google Pixel 8 starts at $699, which is basically $700. And the amazing part is that if you trade in an iPhone 14 Pro Max, for example, on their own website, you're basically going to get it for free, the regular Pixel A. Actually, Google is going to pay you back money. I'll have a screenshot for you guys. I was just playing around with it a little bit. And it's pretty fascinating how Google is um, competing in the flagship level, right? They're technically on paper, you know, the Google's flagship, right? The 8 and 8 Pro. But it, it's, their pricing is, is uh, a little low when it comes to competition. The Pixel 8 Pro, right, which is the biggest elephant in the room, starts from a thousand bucks and uh, the Pixel 8 starts at $800, which is pretty good for the price. The best deal to get right now is the Google Pixel 8. I'm telling you guys right now, even though it doesn't have the beefiest uh, chipset it's not like the best phone for gaming or anything like that and it, it's a phone based on uh, people like who take pictures who just use their phone regularly right who want a stable experience with you know the pure stock android that you get from google with those seven years of updates man it's looking pretty tempting honestly and now for the pixel watch uh, basically the second generation off of it gets a new chip inside and now the battery life is a little, you know, extended. Now the Pixel Watch should last 24 hours with the always-on display on. Last year, if you had the always-on display on, you should have had, you should have charged that watch like two to three times a day, which is pretty annoying, especially for smartwatches. Like I use my Apple Watch right now, and lately I haven't been using it on my wrist as much. You know, you see my both of my wrists. 
because the charging hassle is just so bad. I'm using the Series 6. And the worst part about any smartwatch in general is the battery life. So I'm glad they've improved that. They also upgraded the sensors. So the heart rate sensor would uh, have a more accurate and faster reading of your heart rhythms. And it, it was basically like tiny, tiny touches on the Pixel watch. It wasn't anything crazy or anything like that. And that was it for me in this video. Um, let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. Would you buy the Google Pixel 8? Seems like a pretty good deal. Would you buy the Pixel watch or maybe the Pixel Buds? Are you even in the Google ecosystem? And as always, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video.